Residents in and around Sutherland Springs, Texas, held a vigil overnight in memory of those killed during Sunday's massacre inside a church. It appears now a mistake allowed the shooter to buy guns legally, no questions asked. His background check came up clean. There was no prohibitive information in the systems that we checked that say that he could not have purchased that firearm. That should not have been the case, though. While serving in the Air Force, the gunman was convicted by court martial on two charges of domestic assault. The Air Force says it's now investigating why his conviction wasn't entered into a national database. That information would have popped up on a background check and prevented him from buying weapons. More than 15 magazines, 30-round uh, capacity magazines have been recovered. Police say the suspect fired off at least 450 rounds before a neighbor who heard the gunshots grabbed his own gun and ran barefoot to the church. That neighbor was Stephen Williford. Over time, I heard a shot. I knew that that probably represented a life. I was scared to death. Police say Williford shot the gunman twice, once in the leg, once in the torso. The gunman then fled in a car, crashed, and was found with a self-inflected gunshot wound to his head. Police believe the shooting was not motivated by race or religion, but rather stemmed from some sort of domestic dispute. Courtney Zabowski for CBS News, Sutherland Springs, Texas.